Morning everybody, it's Chad from Six Blog. I'm Steve. See, it says it right there on my shirt. Cool. Anyway, uh, it's a rainy morning and yesterday I got something cool in so I decided I'll go ahead and do a video on it this morning while I'm just kind of sitting around. Um, a lot of you may know, uh, if you keep up with my Facebook channel or if you've just simply read the title of this video, uh, what I'm going to talk about is the Montbell x Line. Uh, like I said, this just came in the mail yesterday. I want to say the reason that I got this uh, is because on my recent hike to the Olympics, um, the down piece that I've been carrying for a while, or actually for the last two years, has been my Montbell Ultralight Down Inner Parka. And let me just say, it's an awesome parka. Uh, it works extremely well. Crafting, or the quality of it is just exceptional. Uh, it really works with my layering system that I'm going to show you in just a minute. I've been really happy with it. The problem that I did, I, not a problem, but something that I realized about it is that uh, some of my hikes, that's actually overkill. Um, this is something that um, I would really enjoy having if temperatures drop down to about, say, mid to low 20s or even less. Um, with the layering system that I have here and this jacket or this parka, um, I've easily taken all this down to single digits, uh, just sitting around camp. And I was very happy with it. However, a lot of my hikes, being that I'm here in the southeast, uh, are not going to be that cold. Uh, very rarely are hikes going to be that cold for me. Um, so I started thinking, uh, looking over my gear sheet, my gear list sheet, uh, trying to look at places I might could cut out a couple ounces, and the Parco was one of them. So what I decided to do was uh, look at uh, basically a no frills, no conveniences, uh, no bells and whistles type of down insulation piece. Uh, you know, just something to throw on whenever it got cool. Um, that weighs less. Uh, the point of this jacket is lightweight. Uh, that's simply all it is to it. So I was looking around, and of course, Montbell has recently put out the Plasma 1000, uh, and it looks like a super sweet jacket. Uh, I really wanted to hit the submit button on it, but the price kind of threw me off just a little bit. Not saying I wouldn't pay it because I've paid a lot more money for other gear uh, to shave probably less amount of ounces off of my pack weight. Um, but uh, I wasn't quite ready. And I'm glad I didn't because I was looking around and I came across one uh, Montbell X Light over on backcountry.com that was in the outlet. Uh, it happens to be the Citron yellow color, which honestly I would say is probably more of a green color, uh, but whatever. Um, but anyway, they had one of these left, uh, and it was $80 off retail. Now, I do want to say real quick that it wasn't too long ago that the x lights were probably about $150, $160, somewhere around in there, and suddenly they've shot up to about $199. Bucks. I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, still, though, in my opinion, uh, it's a quality item, and uh, I, would, I would recommend it. Uh, actually, to be honest with you, I would give it the Sticks Blog Award. Anyway, that's my thing. So anyway, I went ahead and placed the order for the x line jacket. Uh, real quick, let me just show you my layering system. Um, if I'm going to be carrying this with me, it's going to be kind of cold. So typically, the layers that I would start with, uh, I would use my Kepalene 2, my Patagonia Kepalene 2 as a base layer. Uh, over that, I would have something like my Patagonia R1 or even my Camp 4, uh, Patagonia Camp 4 hoodie. Uh, just depending on temperatures. R1 will be something I will carry for colder temperatures. The Patagonia Cat 4 hoodie I will carry for not quite as cold temperatures. Uh, next, I would throw on a wind jacket. Uh, I have a Houdini and a Verto here. I would throw that on to help try to warm up. Uh, if I was still a little cold, that's when I would pull out my down insulating piece. Uh, and now that's for appropriate temperatures, that's going to be my x light. And then if I was still cold after that, I would just throw on my rain shell. So anyway, that's my layering system. That's how I'm going to use it. And like I said, the temperature range that I'm expecting to uh, carry this with me is, like I said, if I don't expect temperatures to be less than 25 degrees, I'm going to be carrying this now uh, instead of my parka. And like I said, my parka is 9.5 ounces. This is 6.5 ounces in the stuff sink. Um, so I'm saving 3 ounces there, which is almost a quarter of a pound. So anyway, 
go ahead and pull this thing out and show it to you. I got to say, first off, I'm extremely pleased with this jacket. Um, I want to say that I feel like this jacket has more loft to it than my my parka ever did, even brand new. I don't know, maybe it's because it's 900 downfill. I don't think that's it. Um, if I remember correctly, this is 800 downfill. But still, I feel like I got more loft in this jacket than I do my other. The fit is as I expected. Just like my uh, my parka, it fits me well. Uh, actually, if anything, it's a little bit baggy. However, you got to keep in mind that I would be wearing something maybe as thick as my R1 underneath it. Uh, right now, I'm just wearing my cool Sticks Log t-shirt. Um, but as you can see, there's no frills to this thing. It's simply a jacket. The only frills that you could consider it having is it's got a front zipper. And to be completely honest, if this was just a pullover, I would probably even like it even better. Just throwing that out there, Montville. Uh, and then if you want to consider it does have uh, some elasticized wrist cuffs. I guess you can consider that a frill, uh, considering this has no frills. Uh, but other than that, uh, there's not much to it. It does have a collar. It's got a good high collar that comes up and covers my entire neck area up underneath my chin. Um, this thing is cut kind of short. I believe that Montbell lists the... Uh, the back length of this at 26.6 inches. So you can see how far it comes down on my back area there. And if you'll notice, it actually comes down just a little bit shorter in my front area. I don't know how well you can notice, but if you'll look at the last baffle on the back and you come around, you'll see that the baffle actually comes up. So there's actually about an inch less difference in the front area as opposed to the back area. However, this thing is awesome. Um, like I said, I, I feel like this thing lofts up much more than my parka ever did. Um, like, I don't know if that's just because it's new uh, or if it's because of the 900 fill power, which I, I'm thinking that's probably not yet. Um, or, who knows, maybe uh, they messed up at the factory and put a little extra down in this thing. Um, I will say that the only people that probably gets mad about that is the true ultralightest because uh, I'll tell you, uh, when I got my, 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 my Marmot Helium sleeping bag, I was super, super upset uh, that it came in weighing about two and a half ounces more than I thought it would. Most people would be like, cool, it's got a little extra down in it. And I was like, dang, they lied to me. Anyway, enough about that. So anyway, this is my Mont Bell x Light jacket. I love this thing. Uh, 70 shell, 900 downfill. Uh, 1.8 ounces of 900 downfill. This is the extra large. Um, honestly, I believe that a large would fit me, um, especially with just a t-shirt underneath it. However, like I said, I don't plan to have just a t-shirt underneath it. So, uh, I'm happy with the extra large. Uh, 6.5 ounces, like I said, these things are listed at 5.6 ounces, I believe, is what they're listed at. However, I'm sure that's based on the medium. Um, so, this is two sizes up. Uh, so it looks like there's about a half ounce difference-ish uh, from size to size. Uh, but anyway, this is the Citron yellow color, which I don't believe they have anymore, at least on backcountry, because I bought the last one. Would be for me. Uh, but anyway, Mott Bell X Light. I gotta say, folks, it's an awesome jacket. I haven't used it yet, of course, but I'm definitely looking forward to using that thing. Uh, to be honest, like I said, I love the color of it, um, and I think it's going to keep me extremely warm based on my parka. And just to show you, I don't know if you'll see the difference in the loft and the fit. This is my parka. This is my old trusty right here. So you can see the fit is about the same. Got a little extra room in the chest, torso area, and then the arms. Of course, this does come down a little bit farther. And for all those that like conveniences, it's got nice hand warmer pockets. And it features a sweet hood. Anyway, guys. Just throw that on over there. Let's see here. This would be a good combination if it got cold. Of course, there's a lot of ways to go. <laughs> okay, now I'm just playing. I'm going to turn this thing off. 
Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any comments or questions, just post them below, and like normal, I'll try to answer them or direct you to somebody else that knows better than I do. Um, anyway, guys, this is the Mont Bell X Lite, and I'm giving it the Sticks Blog Award because it deserves an award. It's an awesome jacket. Thanks, guys.